Hello, we're over here at Bear Creek Nature Center where we've put the bird feeders out for a few hours today. And our feathered friends are just loving having some snacks to eat after the last few snowy days we've had. So the birds outside of the feeders were eating seeds. Have you ever eaten a seed? They're hard on the outside, aren't they? So birds that eat seeds are going to need a good, strong beak or bill for eating those seeds. And a bird's beak is one of its very best adaptations. Have you ever heard that word, adaptations? Maybe that's a new word. Maybe it's one you're familiar with. Here at Bear Creek Nature Center, we like to call adaptations the superpowers of animals and other living things. It helps them do what they need to do really well. So birds that eat seeds need a strong seed cracking beak, like this spotted toey here. So this is one of the most common birds that we see around here at Bear Creek Nature Center. And you'll also see my assistant, my dog Bo is here with me today since we're closed to the public. So birds like toeys that eat seeds and toey eats some other things also, they have strong beaks. And what shape does this beak look like to you? When I look at this beak, I see a triangle, a nice thick triangle. So when you see that kind of beak, it tells you, I eat seeds. If I wanted to crack open a seed, like a peanut, I might use a tool like this because I don't have that kind of beak, right? So I might use something like pliers. Look how well they crack that open. And do these pliers remind you of anything? Look at that beak of this finch and the beak of the toey. They really look like pliers, don't they? What a great seed eating adaptation they have. So I'm out on Creek Bottom Trail at Bear Creek Nature Center, and I am looking at a really interesting animal clue up in that tree. Do you see those nice holes up there? Do you have any idea or a guess what might have made those? If you guessed woodpecker, you are correct. And what is a woodpecker doing when it drills those holes? Do you know what it's looking for? It is looking for insects to eat. And if I were a bird that needed to get teeny tiny insects and grubs out of the wood of a tree, I would want a beak like little tiny tweezers. I think those would come in very handy. And that is exactly what a woodpecker has. So here is a really impressive bird. This is a Swainson's hawk. And do you know what hawks eat? They eat meat. So even if you did not know that, if you were to take a really close look at this beak, look at how sharp and strong it looks and how it's hooked down. When you see that kind of beak, it tells you, I eat meat. Here's another type of bird that also eats meat. Similar to the hawk, but this bird comes out at night. It's nocturnal. This is a great horned owl, but look at how similar those beaks are. Sharp and hooked at the end. They eat meat. Look out, squirrels and rabbits and small critters. One of my very favorite birds that will be coming back to Colorado soon from their warm winter grounds is a hummingbird. Do you know what hummingbirds eat? Their main diet is nectar from flowers. And usually the nectar in a flower is pretty deep down inside the flower. So what kind of beak do you think a hummingbird would need to get all the way down in there? So here's my flower model. If I were a hummingbird and I needed to get the nectar all the way down at the bottom of that flower, I would want something long and thin. And that is exactly what hummingbirds have. A long, narrow, thin beak that they can get down into the flower where their tongue can dart out and lap up the nectar. So I invite you to get out and watch some birds. Do some bird watching in your own yard, or maybe a local park. When you do see birds, take a really close look at their beak, at the shape and the structure, and see if you can guess what that bird eats based on its beak. In the meantime, I invite you to download our bird beak matching worksheet on our website, elpasoco.com slash nature centers. You can do that at home. And please join me on Thursday for a puppet show about the diets of some different birds. So stay healthy, stay well, get outside and have a great day.